Um, my name is Tom Murphy, and depending on who you listen to, in the Senate I am a subverter of the state, and in the Dáil I am a keyboard warrior. Normally I don't face people, I usually write this sort of stuff, so forgive me if I'm not a great public speaker. Uh, I have a few points to make. Um, we live in the crack between you, the public, and the ability to publish. We are a platform on which you're able to put your thoughts and words. Uh, we have some issues with the copyright law as it stands at the moment. I'd like to enumerate them. The first is that it's vague in the extreme. There are no details as to what's considered a distinct uh, breach of the law. Um, it isn't clear even if we'd be given notice whether we would be dragged into an injunction situation or not. The judge has been told to consider the possibility that we should be informed. Uh, two, the mere threat that allowing a user to post content could that, uh, and that content could land a service in court will ensure that that service never exists. If what you say could get me into court tomorrow, there's no way in hell I'm going to let you say it. That is the basis of this problem, is that we stand in between you and your ability to publish, and that as a uh, shareholder, I must protect my shareholders, and so I am split. My loyalties lie between my shareholders and your freedom of speech. It's not fair. This is akin to letting the Bank of Ireland take proceedings against the national toll roads when a getaway driver uses the M50 after robbing a bank. It's not the toll road's fault that they built a road which was used for an illegal purpose. This will kill innovation. It scares away foreign investment. And number five is that this won't even work. This hasn't worked, it has not worked anywhere else, and it will not work here. Now, I'd like to make some rebuttal points as well uh, as to what's been said already, particularly by the Minister. Uh, the first is that the Minister con uh, continuously uh, conflates the issue of the CRC and the SI. Uh, the CRC is an important process, and I would uh, echo him and say that you should get involved in it, you should make a submission to it, and if you have any interest in copyright, you should be uh, clued into what Owen O'Dell uh, and the CRC people are doing there. However, I also want to make it clear that Owen sent this tweet to us to, uh, a couple of days ago saying, hope that Sean Sherlock and Tom and the ISBA and so for Ireland uh, keep the CRC distinct from, uh, and that's the SI. Okay? This is the terms of reference uh, of the uh, CRC itself. We'd say, finally, we note that Irish law does not yet provide a means by which uh, right holders can get an injunction against an ISP whose customers are infringing copyright. However, there is a parallel consultation about this issue, and we will not address it further in the present review. I attended the meeting on Saturday morning where they would not let me speak about that SI, and they would not let anybody else uh, address the point either. It is outside their terms of reference, so do not be fooled by the fact that the CRC is happening and that, that somehow that will address the SI. It will not. slide. Now, uh, we've been given the idea that somehow the intermediaries aren't really at risk here, that somehow, the, the, as the, the, uh, the minister has said, that um, uh, it's implied in, in tweets directly to me and in the debate uh, that an injunction may not be sought against an intermediary, intermediary for the links that are on the, on the site. Well, this is straight from the SI itself. It's the explanatory note and it says, these regulations clarified that an injunction may be sought against an intermediary. Okay, that's... that's <laughs> I wish it wasn't so funny. <laughs> um, the third uh, point is that uh, the minister has, uh, and fair enough, uh, attempted to bring everybody together in some sort of uh, compromise, and that we will all sit around a, a, a kind of a, a round table and work this out politely. Uh, I would love to live in the, in the world that the minister lives in because that's just not what happens and it's not what has been happening. Um, so I, uh, as evidence towards that, I, I'd like to show you this. Um, these are the minutes of a meeting between Irma and uh, the minister. There's four people at this meeting. One is Willie Kavanagh, who is the chairman of Irma. Two is uh, Willie Ryan, who is the COO of an entertainment uh, industry and a lawyer. So by that we can... Uh, I suppose deduct that the minister doesn't have a problem with all lawyers. Um, the, <laughs> the third is Eamon Lard, who is a, a, a centre of, uh, he's sorry, in charge of, of copyright for the country, more or less. Um, sorry, for patents for the country. And the fourth is the minister. Now, there's nothing wrong with the minister meeting uh, interest bodies. Uh, this morning I had a meeting with the minister myself. Uh, boards requested it. He uh, gave us plenty of his time and, and we talked about it. Uh, what is a problem is uh, the parts that I want to bring your attention to. 
Uh, these are these. These are two paragraphs from the minutes of that meeting between those four men. The first is very interesting, simply from my point of view, um, because it shows that absolutely nobody has been kicked off Aircom permanently due to the copyright infringements. Twelve people have been given uh, letters uh, uh, disconnecting them for a week, and 29,000 people have had some sort of vague finger wagging. I'm not sure what happened with them. But uh, this was seen as very effective deterrent against legal downloading. I don't know who sees that as a very de effective deterrent against uh, internet downloading, because I, I sure as hell don't anymore. Um, if you're ever worried that you're going to get kicked off Aircom, you won't. Right? Um, <laughs> the second point is much, much more sinister. Um, Mr. And I'm going to read it out because it's important, uh, and I'm about to get kicked off. Um, Mr. Kavanagh said that the wording of the SI as published, and Mr. Kavanagh is the head of uh, IRMA, the Irish Record and Media Association, Music Association, said that the wording of the SI as published was ideal from their perspective, and he urged the minister to introduce the SI immediately. He said that Irma had two options, meet the minister and see could they get movement on the SI, or alternatively go to the root of litigation. They chose to meet the minister first. If you take two words from this meeting today, if you take two words, be they ideal and first, Ideal and first, because right after that, Mr. Kavanagh, who is also CEO of EMI Ireland, did go the legal route and sued Ireland, started a, a legal court case against Ireland. Uh, so this is a dual uh, approach by the same person in charge of two indus uh, industries, two organisations. One is try and be a good cop with the, with the minister and say, oh, we want our SI signed now, exactly as it is. And two is, otherwise, we'll sue you. All right? And that's what happened. That word first is a cocked gun at the head of Ireland. Good night. Thank you. <laughs>